Good day. Right now, I'm reading the dance between just us. H. Like there are some comics on webtoon with a bracket, with a bracketed number at the end. I'm not sure if that's um, if that's a if that's a webtoon thing with like like if there are like enough webtoons with that many with that same name but like h is a high letter though so to speak so i doubt that's the case here i think h is actually part of the of the, of the title um here or maybe like my letter theory was just wrong to begin with and all every bracketed letter at the end of every title is part of the title that the author very much intended to put there anyway what what's this about let's see june loves her job as a graphic designer it's the modern dream, doing what you love and getting paid for it. Eh, do, I'm not sure, do graphic design, because I mean, they, they like, do like promotion stuff for companies, right? Like, I as an artist have never really dreamed of graphic design personally. Anyway, uh, not to diss on graphic designers, like I'm sure a lot of you are passionate about your jobs. Um, uh, her boss loves her work and her co-workers all admire her. It's all perfect until it's not. When faced with a client she can't deal with, June's perfect life falls apart. To make matters even worse, there are now there now seems to be a strange spirit living in her apartment. Find me on Twitter for updates and more art. Okay, before you read, playlist. Okay, this is a short story, by the way. Just should probably cut out the late loading times instead of like uh, failing horribly to think of something to rant about. Before you read, the dance between just us. That I, I like how I assume you're also a graphic designer because that's like I don't know that that's that's nice. Like it's it doesn't look like an A in isolation, but in context, uh, our brain reads it as an A, which is like pretty rad. Um, much of this story was inspired by various songs. I recommend listening to them or reading the story. Put a link to the playlist on Spotify in the creator's note below. Be below is the list of songs and their corresponding episodes. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, those are the songs. I don't think the music comes up on recording. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll put on these songs anyway and hope hope it comes up and if it doesn't ah well I guess my own experience it should probably be enhanced by it so why not um okay link to playlist hope you guys like it I'm gonna cut to when I finish doing the thing to be entirely honest I've never used Spotify before and I just found out it doesn't really work on this computer so I'm just gonna continue like normal very clever, nicely drawn. I think the look, the title there is very clever, yes. Um, never seen this before. I love the idea of including these songs for your Canva series. Love the idea and look forward to enhancing my experience with this playlist. Okay, uh, and let, next prologue thing. Yeah, I'm not sure, because like, I personally would probably feel a bit stifled to like, um, continuously like control the playlist play speed um and if i don't control the playlist play speed i will have to control my reading pace and i personally just like to read at my own pace i guess so i'm not sure if the musical reading thing will work out for me personally if it's like a playlist in the background i if it's like kind of a visual novel thing where the like soundtrack changes at certain like times like that's pretty cool, but yeah, uh, I think I would probably just prefer to read it without music. Or in this case, like I put it on some background music. Um, hopefully you can't hear it, but I mean, it hasn't shown up in any of my recordings so far. But uh, yeah, I should probably stop rambling about uh, my relationship between music and reading. But I mostly put on the music to drown out people coughing in the background for me because... Uh, Misophonia sucks. Um, yeah. Uh, there's between just us by pal. Okay, so this bracketed letter, uh, you didn't uh, write it after your title here. So I assume that H there is uh, 
something webtoon put on your title if it's like because a lot of other webtoons had the exact same titles i'm pretty surprised because this doesn't seem like a generic title but h is like a b c d e f h it's like the seventh letter of the alphabet right no g h eight eighth letter of the alphabet i can't count uh yeah so like if that's the case i'm pretty surprised okay uh in bed hey hugo yes june can i ask you something i don't see why you couldn't okay well okay uh you were in bed just a minute ago and now you're uh okay you got dressed you are pulling something out of the fridge you're grabbing a uh, i assume this oh yeah this is like your apartment home or something i thought you were like already at work or something i know i guess like sky like uh buildings with a high level i associate with workplaces because i live in australia and every building like all the hell we all live in houses <laughs> i know um which are like low on the ground anyway don't be a smart ass uh don't see why you couldn't ask me something don't be a smart ass okay uh i mean at least they didn't say you already asked me something like like that 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 would be irritating uh i find it hilarious but like people people have no sense of humor <laughs> anyway um you're opening a door yeah wait okay i assume that's a texture and not a lipstick um anyway uh sorry force of habit um anyway what were you asking when you were younger what did you want to be hmm probably something crazy like head of the un or the un i'm not sure what that is I could see little you saying that. I do not know what the un or the un is, so I do not know what kind of little kid would say that. Um, why do you ask? I don't know, I just, come on, spit it out. I mean, do you think it was gonna be like this? Like what? Guess I thought it'd be different. Well, the last thing I expected to happen was to end up in graphic design. If that's what you mean. Are you disappointed or something? No, I love work. I'm just getting nostalgic. Friend from high school texted me last night. Mm -hmm. She wants to catch up. Well, are you going to do it? Yes, so. Prologue end. Thanks for reading. Try to update every Monday special thanks to people who let you use their 3D models and also your friends for supporting you, smiley face. Hey, I know what to put here, comment your thoughts. I will comment a link to this video because that's the only way I can express my thoughts without, um, I don't know, without failing to express my thoughts because I hate typing, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this was quite neat, it's like, a simple conversation but like it goes through the day and it like portrays the mood pretty well it's not too overwhelming i like it uh 16 comments yes yeah, so i love it so far i agree and this looks great pal i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly i can't wait to see more kathy thank you this is beautiful i agree this is amazing work incorporating music in the comic to be recommended to readers while listening is a really unique and creative idea. Thanks, Fred. Well, it's incredible. Can't wait to see more. The art is gorgeous. The art is pretty rad. And this art is stunning. There's color, pal color palettes. This is something so calming and nostalgic about this. I want to know more about these characters. Keep at it. So beautiful. Those color palettes are pretty rad and soothing and pretty to look at. Thank you, SM. SM, I assume that's like you you guys know each other and that's oh no, thank you so much. That's that's probably what you really mean. You get to know the characters, don't worry. So this is so beautiful. Such lovely and warm warm feelings radiating from the colours and the characters. 
can feel the nostalgia like a long afternoon in the late summer sky. Yeah, it's come in so descriptive. I love it, thank you. All right, so stunning, I agree. Could try to scroll and read as slow as possible while listening to Better Off on your own, by she's so rad. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you picked a lovely soundtrack to go with this uh, lovely episode, but um, yeah, that's the pace control thing. I personally, I know. I guess the atmosphericness, like soaking in the atmosphere slowly has its own appeal, especially since the art really does deliver. I guess I personally do want to look at the next dialogue pretty much. Like I'm kind of like in that weird in between, like I, I don't like too much info, like especially like world specific info at front loading a comic, but I also like, I like this style, but I tend to just not go through it slowly. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I quite like it so far. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Uh, goodbye.